In this tutorial, I'll show how to remove the background using a layer mask. Now, if you use the, the scissors or the uh, path tool, you would find that it's very difficult around all these little parts here and there, and especially around the tree with all the leaves. Well, the, with the uh, layer mask, you can take all that out quite easily. There's a lot of uh, demonstrations on the internet show how to do this but many of them leave certain steps out uh, not purposely but accidentally and it's a little bit hard to follow but this one here should be very easy to follow it's very basic so here we go we'll add an alpha channel so we right click on the uh, the background image and add an alpha channel now we, while we've got the alpha channel there we uh, duplicate the layer that's duplicated with the alpha channel. We need the two because we're going to work on the top one and the back one will be uh, what we will finish with. Now we go to colors and we desaturate. That turns it to black and white. Uh, use luminosity, so I'll click OK. The next step is to uh, make it a, a change your brightness and contrast. Now you can tweak it up a lot better with possibly curves but as I stated this is a very basic one. You move this up and brighten it up a little bit and then move the contrast right up so everything turned black and white like so. Now I'll click OK. I return to colors and I invert the selection. Now everything white now I want to keep and everything black will be transparent. So I need to keep the bridge and all that around here but you can notice how it's selected all the tree and all the leaves within the tree and the branches of the tree over here. I'll go to my paintbrush tool and the foreground colour should will be white so I need to swing that around to white. I'll pick a reasonably big brush because we're working, going to work in a big area. I'll move this right up to about, there we go, nice and big so we can paint all that white. Now remember everything white will be preserved when we put our mask back. This is the main part about it. Anything that uh, is in black will become transparent. Now there's a little bit of the bridge along the top there. The bridge is from Tasmania and it's in a town called Ross, an old bridge. Now I re reduce the size of this uh, brush size. I, I'll use the bracket keys. You can see what's happening on the screen. I need to reduce them so I can get around these little ones here. So I reduce it and just paint around there. Now I have a problem. I've got a straight line. What you do here, you, you make your brush about the size using the bracket, square bracket keys. Click there and hold the shift key down. When you, once you press the shift key, you let the left mouse button go and you just drag it straight along the line. And when you get to the other side, you just click and it's painted it for you. We do it again. Hold the shift key down, click the left mouse button and it's drawn the line. We just now clean all that up. That little bit there is part, a post, so we need to clean that. Now we have our black and white image and the white for everything we're going to keep. The funny part about this, we, uh, we cut it out and put it on our clipboard. So we need to cut it out and it's been cut out now and we're back to our old uh, Ross Bridge image. Now I need to add a... I need to add a mask, a layer mask. I click on the layer mask now full white opacity, I'll add the, the layer mask. You can see now it's got the layer mask on, on there. Now we go back to edit and bring back our copy of uh, or the cutout of the bridge, black and white bridge. So we paste, now that's a floating layer and everything now is transparent. We need to put that layer, floating layer, on that background mask. The way to do that is the little anchor icon. You click on the anchor icon and it's placed it on the, uh, on the mask for you. Nice and easy. 
Now we need to put a background in it. Uh, you can choose any sort of background, you can choose anything you like, but just uh, we need to uh, use a layer, open the layer. And I made a little, I picked up a moon in the daylight, so I'll, I'll load that one. And there's our moon. Now I'll, I'll move it below the, the working layer. And you can see now we've got the sky nice and blue. I go to my move tool and I move that up until I can see the moon come through. There's the moon. Now we've got the moon in the daylight coming up over a bridge in Ross in Tasmania. I right click on here and I can merge down from there or I can go to layers and merge down and merge down and brings the the two images together and that's our job completed. Quite simple to do once you've, you've seen the process. Well thank you for watching, rate the video and visit my channel and you will find a link to my website where you can get uh, printout instructions on how to do this if you can't follow the uh, if you can't follow the instructions on the screen.